What's up, guys? My name's Kenny. Hope you're all feeling good today. It is Thursday, April 18th. In this video, we're going to play Wordle Connections, the mini crossword and strands. Today, for Wordle, the randomizer gave me the word going. So I'm going to put in going and see what it gets me today. Gets me nothing. All right. What about stare? Anything there? Yes. Okay. T, A, and E not in those positions. Could be, okay, there's not going to be an A in the middle, so it's not going to be EA like this. Uh, it could be e EA like this. Something ends in T. Or something like tweak. Let's do tweak. No. Okay. All yellow still. All right. So, let's see. What can we do here, then? A here, E fourth. There's a T. I guess we don't know where the T goes yet. Um, something L E T or something else E T. Um, not sure. Ball ballet. Does that have two L's in it? I can't remember. Um, I feel like it does. Okay. Uh, let's see. Something like this, maybe? Cadet. Okay, that is where all those letters go. A, E, and the T. A, C, E, T. Bassett? I feel like I've been getting a lot of fives recently. I want to get those down to fours, but I guess the random starting guesses don't help, you know, like going with two Gs in it, but I usually use words that have uh, five unique letters in them. It's not very often that I really use it, a starting guess with duplicate letters, but um, either way, this one was going to be tough because I only got yellows, but there we go. There is my solve. Let me know in the comments how you guys did today on Wordle. And that's going to wrap that up. Let's go ahead and move on to connections. Just give me a moment to open up the website here. Okay. Here we go. Connections, April 18th. Let's get started, see what we got today. Okay, I see a bunch of small words that could either be things that go at the beginning or the end of stuff, so let's pay attention to that. Mean Girls. Okay. Mean Girls in Oz. Wait a minute. That's that's funny. Uh, Oz. Okay. We had the Wizard of Oz uh, category recently. Um, I don't know what Oz is going to go with. Curb Plan... You have gal on here, like girls and gal. Gal and cow. Hmm. Aim, intend. Okay, that might be a starting point for me. Plan. Mm. Mean. Oh, mean like this. Like if you meant it a certain way or if you mean to do something. You mean, you plan, you intend, you aim. Okay. Yeah. Have in mind. Okay. Manhole is going to be uh, interesting. I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that it has man in the word or hole in the word. I have no idea. Or just manhole, great, gutter, and curb. That actually might be it. I don't know if there's another one that fits here, but I think I'm going to put this one in. Yeah, there we go. Sidewalk sites. I was a little worried about that. I was like, what the heck is... How are you going to have a have manhole be in a category here? And um, that makes a lot more sense, seeing those other words there. Okay. So...
in, I feel like in could go with a lot of things. So this is, uh, this could be part of a word. It could be the, you know, beginning of a phrase, or it could be in a million different things. It's in a million different things. I said in there. Okay. Uh, rule. Please. Hmm. Not sure what fleece is doing there. Parachute. Yeah, these last two categories are going to give me problems. I can already tell because I don't see what this is. Gal and cow. Things associated with wizards. Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, oh, wait a minute. Gal made me think of Gallon. And then I realized you also have OZ could be ounce. In could be inches. I don't know what... Cal seems like it would be the other thing there. I don't know what... Cal is. <sighs> I'm assuming it's Cal, but I don't know. I can't think of what Cal means here. Unit abbreviations. Cal. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up in a minute here. Uh, and then we have fleece, parachute, girls, and rule. I have no idea. I mean, maybe they're parts of, like, film titles. I, I don't know. What do these all have in common? I don't, it, it really doesn't make sense to me. Uh, let's go ahead and just see what it is. Golden. Golden fleece. I'm not familiar with that term. Golden girls I am familiar with. Golden parachute. I don't think I've heard of that either. I don't know what that means. Golden rule I've heard of. So, um, yeah, no, I was not going to get that one today. All right. Took me a minute for the unit abbreviations there, but I ended up figuring it out, thankfully. So, uh, anyway, let me know how you guys did on this one. Thank you guys so much for, uh, I don't know why I'm trying to wrap it up, saying thank you guys for watching. It's just a habit, saying thank you guys for watching, and the video is not done. We got two more games to go. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Probably because I'm thinking about the fact that that I'm, I gotta edit, edit this down later into a, uh, a short to, to upload to the channel and I, I'm thinking about how I'm going to wrap that up because I got to edit everything down into 60 seconds there. Yeah, that's what it was. I was just like ending ending the short, but we still, we're, this is the full video, full length, not a short. Let's move on. All right. Yeah, let me know how you guys did on this one. Uh, we got the mini coming up here, so uh, give me a moment to open that up. Here we go. Mini crossword Thursday, April 18th. It's actually Thursday today, not Tuesday. Last time on Tuesday, I said Thursday. All right. Here we go. One across bluegrass instrument. I'm not sure. Uh I'm not I don't really know anything about bluegrass, honestly. I I mean as an instrument, um I don't know, cello? Audible way to think. Uh, audible way to think? Speak? That uh, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe it does. I, I, I don't know if cello makes any sense. A Latin character whose first line is, Oi, 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. 
Uh, the genie. Is it just called genie? Members of a company's C-suite. I don't know what a C-suite is. Behind schedule. Late. Uh, sh a schmear? The, sh the schmear? What is that? Goes here. I don't know what that is. The Amazon's assistant. Amazon Alexa, right? Group of nine. N and a T in there. I don't know. Battery life. Batter, b battery life. Informally. I don't know. Poems like To Autumn and To a Skylark. I have no idea. Bluegrass instrument. Audible way to think. Think aloud. Uh, member of a company C Suite Extra. I I don't know. I just saw an X there. Probably EX. I don't know what that is. Bagel? <laughs> Banjo? Oh, juice. Oh, odes. Execs. I got it today. I got it. Um, yeah, I was just trying to come up with a five-letter instrument. I just put a cello in there. I, I had no idea. Audible way to think aloud. Okay, bagel? What does that mean? I, I got to look up that word. Schmear? Am I saying that right? <laughs> uh, somehow I got this today. I, I felt like I only got Genie, Late, Alexa... Couldn't think about odes. Not not really a poem guy, so I mean I'd like I think I like poetry, but I I can't really say that I really explored it very much. Um but I feel like if I did get into poetry, I I think that I would really, really like it. But um yeah, I'm not a poetry guy in that sense, like I know anything about it. Uh so yeah, I wasn't going to think about odes, even though I'm familiar with, with, with the term. Uh, uh schmear? Sh a smear or spread. The bagel so perfect with a schmear of low fat cream cheese. That's, uh, that's the second definition underneath a corrupt or underhanded inducement, a bribe. Okay, I, uh, so, like a smear? Okay. Uh, is that it? Banjo, execs. Wasn't gonna think about execs to put there. Juice. That's a, that, that could have been an easy one. I mean, four down, the J, the J there in juice definitely helps to have banjo in there. But, uh, I feel like that gives the J gives away. I think if you got one of the answers, I think the J gives away the other one, either juice or banjo. Um, but yeah, all right, there we go. Uh, there is the mini for today. I'm just glad that I was able to solve it all today. Thought for sure I was gonna give up there for a moment, but banjo helped me get get there. So um, there there's three games down. We got one more to go. We got strands. Yesterday I had a lot of trouble. I was also very tired solving it, and that might have had something to do with it. Uh, let's go ahead and um, get going with strands here. All right. Strands, April 18th. So what? Oh, okay. I can already tell I'm not going to do well on this one. If the theme, in fact, is sewing stuff, let's look for needle. Wait, marathon? Marathon. Marathon? No, okay. <laughs> yesterday. I still can't believe that I overlooked Marathon yesterday. Uh, so what? So what? Um, Like a needle, right? 
sewing needle. You got to have thimble on here, right? You have all these letters down there? Of course you do. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's just going to be probably sewing terms. And, and I'm, I am I don't know sewing terms. And <laughs> I, I think I am... Oh, yeah, there is needle. Oh, see, like, I keep... Like, when I say, like, oh, let's look for a particular word. Like, yesterday it was marathon. Today it was needle. I was looking, and I, was, I didn't see it. Like, it's, it's so hard for me to, like, spot things quickly. Like, I have to really be looking very, very closely at every every little detail. Um, and it takes me a minute. Um, but I, at first glance, I thought for sure there was no way Needle was on here. It's very hard for me to see things. I feel like a lot of people that play, when I watch other people play, it seems like they just see things so easily, and I just, I can't. People have much sharper eyes than I do. Uh, so there's definitely just one here, right? Stitch. Nice. Okay. So that was nice to narrow that down because, again, a lot of the stuff, I'm not going to get it <laughs> on my own. Like, I need things to be narrowed down for me. Um, let's see. What can I do here? Patch, maybe? Yes. Now, what would the spangram be? Cloth, 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 just cloth. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like clothing or something. Um, tailor. Ta is it tailor ring? No. Uh. Tailing. Um. Hmm. That's not it. Did I misdo it the first time? I must have misclicked. See, that's another problem I have is I... I thought for sure tailoring had to be the spangram, and I thought for sure that I put it in correctly, and it said no. And that was just because it's so difficult to get the mouse to go where you want it to go. Seam. There we go. And thread. Thread. Thready. Thread eye. There we go. Well, I got there today. I didn't have to use any hints. I thought for sure I wasn't going to do well on this one. Uh, that was, that was okay. That, that was a, that was an easier one, but, um, I guess I know more about sewing than what I thought, but it, not really. I mean, it's just, uh, once you know what the theme is, you can see things easier, right? So because I knew, because the, today's theme literally has the word sew in it. Like that's the easy it's the easiest thing in the world, right? It's like you're not it's not like these other ones where you have to think and wonder what the heck is the theme today? I don't get it. I'm looking for any word I can find. Today it's like, no, no, no. I'm gonna look straight away for needle. I found needle. And then, you know, it's much easier to see a word like cloth and be like, oh yeah, that's that's definitely an answer, right? Um Yeah. But there's some words on here. Like, I'm glad I found thimble. Like that one, I did. Uh, I did pretty good finding that. That was actually the first one I found, though, right? Or did I find needle first? I might have found needle first. I don't remember. Um. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, guys. Uh, I guess I don't really have anything else to say on this one. Um. Just happy I got strands today. Uh. Actually, I got all everything today fairly decently. So. Happy about this. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'm actually going to wrap up the video now. Um, yeah, just uh, thank you guys. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know how you did. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Have a good one.